which is how many times bigger this new figure's area is from the old figure, and that, that's going to be uh, that's going to be relevant. So I'm going to show you now how determinants can help you find the area of, of, of figures. Hold on a second. So I'll start with um, a parallelogram. I'll show you how to find a parallelogram area of parallelogram if sort of the bottom left vertex is 0, 0. I think this works even if, the, even if it's not the bottom left vertex, but here's the way it works. The area will be um, the determinant of the two points hold on a sec let me, let me say it uh, let me say it this way if we have a parallelogram and if we could identify the um, the point on the on the bottom right and the points on the sort of top left corner. Those are the only two points I'll need to be able to find the area of, of something. So for example, if I take uh, a parallelogram that has 0, 0 as its bottom left, 10, 3 as its bottom right, 4, 8 as its top left. And the other point doesn't matter, but I mean, it's, it's determined. It happens to be 1411. And according to this, the way the determinants work, or the way you could use determinants for this, is we take this point, the bottom right point, and we put the two numbers here. So this is the bottom right coordinates. And over here, in the second column, we put the coordinates of the, of the top left, 4, 8, to the determinant, 80 minus 12 equals, uh, equals 68, which is the answer to that question. I think is that the initial question. Uh, um, we can apply this to redo do now number three with this method. You get everyone go ahead and redo do now question three. According to this process, the area of that parallelogram, we take the bottom right point, which was nine three, and the top left point, which was two seven. And according to this, it's the determinant, which is nine times seven minus two times three which is 63 minus 6, which is 57, which I believe, I hope, yes, same answer we got before. So this would be a nice question for a test, finding the area of a parallelogram using this determinant. Basically what the determinant does is it, um, just like over here where I had the unit square, and after I did the determinant, the new figure had a different area, the determinant kind of tells me the scale factor of the area. That's, what it, that's why this works. So determinant, I'll write it this way, determinant is related to the scale factor related to scale factor of area of the new figure new shape compared to original. Meaning, this means if the original is determined by some points and we multiply the matrix that represents all those points by that other matrix, uh, the determinant of the other matrix tells us how 
many times bigger the, the area is going to become. If our uh, figure was a unit square, then the, if the original figure was a unit square, then the new figure will be some kind of parallelogram and the determinant will actually equal the area of, of the new figure. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is um, how we can also find the area of a triangle using using this, this method. Um, oh, I, I should mention, if the parallelogram is, does not have the origin as one of its points, you can sort of shift the whole figure over so that it the origin would be one of the points and then apply the, uh, the same formula. Now, as to find a triangle using determinants, So for example, if the triangle has three vertices, 0, 0, 8, 1, and 2, 5, 0, 0, 8, 1, and 2, 5. So in geometry, you'd probably have to draw the big square or the rectangle around the triangle and find all the pieces. but if you imagine a parallel line drawn from this vertex parallel to that other side and another parallel line, this triangle would be half of a parallelogram. And we have a method of finding the area of a parallelogram if one of the corners is uh, 0, 0, and then there's a top left and a bottom right. So this point we don't even need to know. So what I can do here is the area of a triangle is half the determinant half the area of the rectangle, but the area of the rectangle will be the determinant defined by, um, we put the bottom right first, which is 8, 1, and the top left of the, top left of the parallelogram, which is just the top side, top vertex of this triangle, which is 2, 5. And we get 40 minus 2, which is 38, which is the answer to, uh, to that question. Hmm. 8, 1, 2, 5, 40. Oh, but it's, it's half of 40 minus 2. So it's 38 over 2, which is 19. Um, just one last point. If the triangle was not at the origin, let's just imagine every one of these three points was, was moved um, one to the right and two up. So now this point would be 1, 2, and this point would be 9, 3, and this point would be 3, 5. You would do, the. it would be the same answer. We would first shift this entire thing so that it would be at the same three points, 0, 0. Um, 0, 0, 2, 3, and 8, 1. And then you would do the same thing, area equals 1 half. 8, 1, 2, 5, equals 19. So that is, um, that's all we need for, for today's lesson. I think for those people who are teaching this lesson, um, maybe we can make up a, another example here um, where, where this is shifted, you know, where, where you, take a, uh, you take a parallelogram and, and have it not located at 0, 0. Um, See, in some books, just so you know, like your book, I think, sometimes you see this, area equals one half, and they say eight, one, two, five. They put the three points, and then they put three zeros on the bottom. And that actually works also, and I think that that, that also works even if the... Uh, even if the three points were not located at, even if the, even if none of the points was uh, was zero zero. However, um, this really wouldn't be a very good way to do this problem to find the determinant of the three by three matrix. It's just as easy to, and I'm going to recommend 
that you do it this way. Determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix is easier than finding the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, even if it requires you shifting the points over to make sure that one of the points is 0, 0. So that's today's lesson. And have, I'm not going to be there tomorrow, so have, well, in 2012 I won't be there tomorrow. Future years I will plan to be there tomorrow. So have fun with that.